been recommended to use a product that has an ingredient called benzoyl peroxide in it. Benzoyl peroxide has been around for a long time and it's very useful for not only acne but also a number of other treatments. So we're going to talk about how to use benzoyl peroxide and what some of the side effects are so that you can get the desired outcome. Now benzoyl peroxide, whether you're using it as a wash or a cream, will bleach anything it comes in contact with. So if you're using it as a wash, please make sure that you rinse it off completely and then you pat dry with a white towel. And if you're using it as a leave-on cream, whether it's strictly benzoyl peroxide or whether it's benzoyl peroxide combined with another medication, you'll probably want to use these at night, right before you get to bed, and then make sure you have a white pillowcase and white sheets, and when you wash it off gently in the morning, you'll pat dry with a white towel. Please don't have designer sheets with all sorts of colors on them because you will ruin them. Now some companies actually make sheets that won't stain from benzoyl peroxide. So you can look for those too if it's really necessary that you have colored sheets. Please be sure that if you're using a leave-on cream that you wash it off completely before you put on your good clothes because if you have some area that you put the benzoyl peroxide on close to a collared shirt, let's say, and it rubs up against it, or you sweat and it drips down onto it, you'll ruin your shirts. Now sometimes benzoyl peroxide can be irritating. And if it is irritating to you, there's some tricks that you can apply. One is you can put a moisturizer on first and then put the benzoyl peroxide cream on top of it if you're using a cream version. Please make sure that the moisturizers that you use though do not cause acne. If you're using a wash, then please be very gentle when you're putting it on. You don't need to rub and scrub, you don't need loofahs, you don't need Clarisonics, you don't need any sort of tool that manually exfoliates your skin. Just put it on with your hands, let it sit for 10 or 20 seconds, rinse it off and pat dry. If you're getting irritated, maybe instead of leaving that wash on for 10 to 20 seconds, maybe you only leave it on for five seconds, then rinse and then pat dry. If you're still getting irritated with that short amount of time or with putting a moisturizer on first before the cream, then maybe benzoyl peroxide is not right for you. Now with all medications, if you start having severe side effects or symptoms, things just aren't looking right, stop it. And with all medications, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, please contact your local healthcare provider to make sure it's okay for you to continue using them. And I would recommend for all of these medications that you read the package insert before you take the medication. You need to know what the risks and side effects are for these medications. And the best way for you to do that is to read the package insert and then to ask your local healthcare provider if there's any questions that you have before you start taking the medication. If you can't find these package inserts online, then you can look at it when you get the prescription but I like to look at things before I get the actual product. I like to ask my questions before I actually am paying for it to make sure it's right for me and I would suggest you doing the same for you. Now with all medications, make sure you're using it appropriately. Don't use this much medication when we're only asking you to use this much medication. As always, we thank you for allowing us to help you become comfortable in your skin.